What's up YouTube, it's Matt Book here, so today I'm just going to make a quick application review by the new application just got released, uh, which is called Squeeze. A uh, quick shout out to Weasel Drift and Flip Mode Gaming, they just wanted a quick shout out. Um, so yep, there you go guys. Uh, let's get to the application, so what Squeeze, what, how it works, and uh, yeah. So uh, I'll put the link in the description of their website, obviously. Um, so what it basically does is reduces the size of, um, of your folders on your computer. Uh, that's basically it. Um, so it, it shows six little points here on how it works. It only works for Snow Leopard until now, except if there's a newer operating system coming out. Um, so it's ten dollars. That's for the intro prize, and you can download the free trial, or you can go to MacHeist.com to get your free copy. Um, so it's free legal. It's the full copy, but there's only two days left, so uh, you might might get it, might not. Depends when you're watching this video. Uh, I'll try to post it as soon as possible. So be sure to go and get it at MacHeist.com. Um, if you're lucky, you still have uh, a copy. Um, so it's made by a company, uh, Late Night Soft, which also made Xlimmer, which is kind of the same purpose, reducing the size of your applications. Um, and this kind of does the same for um, your Mac, actually, your Macintosh HD. So uh, let me just open it up. It's a preference pane, so it's just uh, in system preferences under other. Uh, it's got squeeze. So um, you, it's also in your menu bar, but you can uh, remove that if you want to. So um, in your system preferences, once you have it, under other, you can just click on squeeze. Uh, then in the general options here, you can just put it on or off. Checks for updates automatically when it starts up. Uh, show squeeze in the menu bar or not. And then put your license there uh, if you want to. Uh, you can uninstall it as well here. Um, so, yep. In the folders tab, uh, it's quite simple. Basically, what you gotta do is just add a folder here. So, for example, if I remove this one now, if I can, oh, uh, you can't apparently. Let me just resume it. Um, so you have to wait till it's totally done. Apparently, for removing them. So what you basically do is just add a folder. So, for example, your Macintosh HD or s some other stuff, whatever you want. Um, so you can let's do this folder for example. Um, so it won't show up right now because this is my Macintosh HD, so this is basically my whole Mac. Um, so it won't show up any subdirectories. So I just did my whole Mac, but you can do for each specific folder. Uh, up till now, uh, if I show it up in the preference pane and the menu bar here, you can see the savings. So I already saved 3.610 megabytes or 3.6 gigabytes uh, saved. Uh, that's mainly my applications because I just did my applications and now I'm doing my uh, Macintosh HD. Um, so you can pause it if it takes too much if you're playing games or stuff. Uh, it uses a little bit of CPU but not that much. It's not really that CPU intensive. Um, but it, it's a great little app. It really works. Uh, you might think it's dangerous to compress file. Well, what it basically does, it doesn't really compress them in another format or anything. Um, it just compresses, it just reduces the size of all the little files and stuff. Uh, to just reduce the files uh, as much as possible, but your Mac can still read them, and it's not gonna um, it's not gonna destroy or break uh, any of your application or anything. All your application will still work and work and stuff like that. So uh, no worry about that. Uh, at least that's what they say on their website. Uh, so I'm not responsible if it does or anything, but uh, just to let you know, it shouldn't do anything wrong for your Mac. Uh, just good. <laughs> so. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you Wednesday for Look of the Week 3. Peace.